हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द बेसिक एनाटॉमी ऑफ द अपर लिम द अपर लिम कंसिस्ट ऑफ द अवर अपर टू आर्म्स द अपर लिम मेनली कंसिस्ट ऑफ द मेन जॉइंट्स मसल्स एंड देयर लिगामेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल जस्ट टेल यू अबाउट द मेजर जॉइंट्स ऑफ द अपर लिम द अपर लिम कंसिस्ट ऑफ यू कैन से थ्री मेन जॉइंट्स व्हिच वी कॉमनली नोन एज द शोल्डर जॉइंट द एल्बो जॉइंट एंड द रिस्ट जॉइंट uh you should know that uh, any joint is made up of uh, between the articulation of the two bones so there must be the presence of two uh, bony surfaces for the making of a joint if we talk about the shoulder joint it is also known as the glenohumeral joint uh why has it called this name because the two articulating surface has have those names there is the glenoid cavity of the scapula and there is the humeral head Uh, which both articulate with each other and make the shoulder joint uh in many uh, other books you uh, must have studied that the shoulder joint not only consist of the glenohumeral joint rather there are two more joints which make up whole this as a shoulder joint complex uh, the other two joints are known as the acromioclavicular joint and the sternoclavicular joint as you know the clavicle bone it also known as the collar bone it is present right here it articulates with the part of scapula which is known as acromion and make a synovial joint which is known as uh, acromioclavicular joint and the clavicle then articulates with the sternum which is the mid uh, bone in the chest and make the sternoclavicular joint the other joint uh, then we come to a forearm the other joint is the elbow joint elbow joint is made uh, between the distal part of the humerus and there are two bones present in the forearm which is are known as the radius and the ulna uh, the bone which is towards the thumb side it is known as radius and which is towards the little finger or pinky finger side this bone is known as ulna and at the distal end of both these bones the radius bone and ulna bones there are a uh, presence of uh, eight small bones which are known as the carpal bones and together they form the wrist joint i will show uh, you in this book the articulation between the humeral head and the scapula i hope you get a better understanding uh, you can see here uh, you can see here that the humeral head is articulating with the glenoid fossa and the scapula and uh, above and below there are present uh, the uh, sternoclavicular joint and the acromioclavicular joint okay guys in the next video i will tell you about the basic muscles or uh, and their attachment and origin insertion uh, of the muscles of the upper limb uh, i hope you got a better understanding in this video if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section give my videos a thumbs up thank you